Hi, we're going to do an instructional video to help you in your home to clean the ears and to apply ear medications because it can be a little daunting to do it at home yourself. This is Foley. He's going to be our lovely test subject. <laughs> Say hi, Foley. All right, so we'll send you home with an ear cleaner. Um, one of the ones we have is Epiotic. It's fast drying and it's safe for pets. It's even safe for puppies and kittens. Uh, what you're going to do, there's two different ways to apply the ear cleaner. The first way is you're going to pull back your dog's ear. Oh, here, let's do this one. We're going to pull back the dog's ear. You can see the ear canal goes down here. You're going to take the tip of the um, flush, insert it in the ear canal, and squeeze. You're going to do this until the ear canal is full of the flush and then you're going to gently massage the ear. What this does is that the flush goes down into the ear canal where we can't reach, breaks up the debris, and floats it up to the surface. Your dog might shake while you're doing this and make a mess, so you want to do this in an area that's easy to clean, like a tiled area, perhaps a bathroom or a kitchen. Then you want to open up the ear again and you're going to take gauze and you're just going to scoop out any debris that's floated up to the surface. Foley's ears are pretty clean, so there's not a lot of debris on there. You can use gauze or pieces of t uh, tissue paper. You also can use uh, Q-tips to get into all these little folds in your dog's ear to make sure you get all the debris out of there. This helps so that when you apply your medication to your dog's ears, that the debris isn't in the way of the medication doing its job to get rid of the yeast infection or the bacterial infection that your dog might have in its ears. If your dog will not tolerate this, there's another method of doing this. You can take a square piece of gauze and you'll just douse it in the flush. Then you'll take the gauze and put that in your dog's ear and squeeze it so that the flush goes down into the ear canal. This is especially really good for when you're doing ear meds for your cats because they really don't tolerate flush going down into the ear canal, but they'll tolerate a piece of gauze gently being squeezed so the flush goes down into the ear canal. Alright, and then you will just continue to clean the ears until you don't have anything else come out of the ear canal. When you get a nice clean piece of gauze there, you know that you're done.